Hello, everyone. Awesome, we got some responses. You're not falling asleep yet, that's good. Um, I wanna talk about challenges, okay? And right now, I'm a challenge because I'm the last thing standing between you and lunch. <laughs> and how you can help us solve this challenge is that I'm gonna try and get us involved a little bit in, in the beginning, and then there's gonna be a little bit of a quiz at the end, and the better, the quicker you catch on, uh, the more quicker, uh, the more quickly we get to lunch. Sound good? Okay, awesome. So, uh, I'm gonna give you another example of a challenge. So a challenge, in the way we're talking about today, is anything from I uh, have a hard time getting up in time for school, right, to I want to uh, get a space shuttle to Mars. Right? So that's a challenge, anything in between that, right? And what I want to tell you is that you have the power to solve any challenge that you come up against. You may need a team, right? But it's one simple thing that you need to do. Before I talk about that, um, I want to give a little bit of a shout out to people who are really familiar with this. I think we have some Village Tech squiddies in the room. <laughs> Village Tech knows all about this, and a lot of you do too, but I just wanted to uh, welcome them. I also want to welcome some friends from the neighborhood that we're going to be talking about in a minute. Um, so Juan, Juan, and Ivan, I'm not going to be able to see you, but I think uh, if everybody could welcome them, make them feel at home. Where are you guys at? I promise you I'd make you famous. Okay. Uh, so back to what we were doing. Um, the simple thing that you can do to solve any challenge that you come across is to listen, imagine, and make. Okay, that's design, that's simple, that's it. So I wanna practice this and we'll see it again. So I'm gonna kinda work across the room and in these sections I want you to help me, right? So listen, imagine, make. Lunch, lunch, lunch. Listen, imagine, make. One more time. Listen, imagine, make. It's that simple, folks. All right, so who do I listen to? Well, um, I listen to Miss Anna Hill um, she used to be a nurse, and now she is nursing her community back to health. Her community is Dolphin Heights, and that's where Juan and Juan and Ivan are from. Um, you are here uh, in the Dallas Performance Hall in the Arts District in downtown Dallas. Uh, Dolphin Heights is that way. Um, we're going to kind of zoom in to Dolphin Heights a little bit. And um, Dolphin Heights is very close to White Rock Lake. It's by I-30, it's very close to Fair Park, where the State Fair is at. Zoom in a little bit more. Um, <coughs> and uh, Dolphin Heights has some challenges, right? Like for example, no ice cream shops, that's a challenge. I wanna be able to get ice cream. Um, it has trucks, see? Um, it has trucks going through the middle of a residential neighborhood, dead end streets, et cetera. It has a lot of opportunities, a lot of things that are great about it, right, also. Um, and so we wanted to start off our listen, imagine, make by listening. And we wanted to listen to as many people as we can because the bigger the problem is, the more people it affects, the more people you have to listen to to start to understand the problem. So we sent postcards out and we got people together and we had these great meetings and we talked about how big is the road, right? And how, um, where should the school go? And where should the ice cream shop go? We gotta focus on the important things. Um, and we came up with a set of criteria that helped us to imagine. So in the case of Dolphin Heights, it was diversity, growth, connectivity, and safety. Right? And so we used those as we shaped a plan. Um, oh, can I go back one more? Go back one? I missed a very important slide. Um, and we came up with this design, we put it out, and we wanted to make sure that we had listened well. And so we uh, put it out in the neighborhood, we put out flyers that said, if you come out and you look at this and you give us your idea for how to make it better, we'll give you a popsicle. Uh, it went over pretty well because people like popsicles. Um, and we had people come out and literally right on the street and we talked to them about how to make their neighborhood better. And as they gave us uh, ideas, we gave them popsicles. Worked out really nice. Uh, and then we came up with a really great design uh, and we're working on it right now. And we came up with all kinds of great solutions for how to change things around. Where to put the ice cream shop was in there. Um, and that's really great, right? So we listened, we imagined, and now we're in the process of making. Uh, but like I said, there's different kinds of challenges. This is a very big, very long challenge. Uh, you can see uh, it's gonna take 10 to 20 years to see all of the solution. 
right? So that's, that's one end. But you're probably saying to yourself, Andy, I'm not even 20 years old. Um, I'd like to see an example that can go just a little bit faster. So in that same neighborhood, we also took on a challenge that we could do in just a couple of days. So we looked at Dolphin Heights and we said, what's going on right now that we could fix if we just put our minds to it? And so what you're seeing uh, is the map of Dolphin Heights, kind of an aerial photo. On one side is East Dolphin Heights, on the other side is West Dolphin Heights, and right down the middle is a four-lane road that's very, uh, very wide uh, and very, uh, has a lot of traffic that goes really fast. And there's really no safe way to get across it currently if you're just a regular person or a kid. So we said, okay, that's, that's our problem, and we needed to listen. So we went back to what we heard from the residents, from the kids who were part of the, the process, and we found out that as we were listening to them, all the kids are on this side of the neighborhood, the playground is on this side of the neighborhood, and the bus to school is also on that side of the neighborhood. That's kind of a problem, right? So we said, this is the easy part. All we had to do was Awesome. So if you remember nothing else, it's that you can do this. So we said, let's zoom in there um, and let's figure it out. So we've got this road that we don't want uh, to cross currently. So what if we created a safe way to cross it? We can do this, right? It's pretty simple. We'll make a crosswalk. So we went out, and it turns out that you can actually get your own street signs made. So we decided, since this was Dolphin Heights, we would make a dolphin crossing sign. Because uh, maybe that would attract people's attention a little bit more than a regular street crossing sign. Uh, and then we went out with some friends, and we put on vests and hard hats. We did everything safely, and we created our own crosswalk. And so now, uh, what you're seeing is that to get to the bus stop, the kids on East Dolphin Heights, all they have to do is wait for the traffic to be right, cross the crosswalk, and the rest, as they say, is history. So, what are you going to do when you see a challenge? You're going to turn it into an opportunity by listening, imagining, and make. Thank you.